Now, if you're in the music industry, YouTube, or your producer, having a fan base and or a clientele base is the pivotal aspect of your business. If you don't have anyone that's listening to your music or anyone to sell your music to or watch your videos, then what are you doing this for? In this episode, we're going to talk about how to gain fans. Yo, 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 we get ready to drop this new album, guys. Y'all make sure y'all check it out. The new album is called Booties Don't Have a Name, man. Gonna definitely be lit. We're looking for one million streams, guys. Check me out. Yo, bro, we're getting ready to drop this new album. I got a foolproof way that we're gonna go and hit at least a million streams, bro. 100%. This dude hit me on IG. He said, he like, I got you. One million, it's not bots. One million people won't listen to your music, and he's only gonna charge me $500, bro. So what you're saying to me is, for $500, he's gonna get you a million streams, and they're not bots. If it only took $500 for a record label to get a million streams and they're not bots, everybody be doing it, bro. Boo, boo, you a hater, boo. I wanna hear that shit, boo. Haters be gone, nigga. I got bug spray for people like you, bro. Be peace, bro, get deuces, I wanna hear that, boo. Having fans or having an organic fan base is the most important thing that we as musicians, as artists, as YouTubers, as producers can do and have. However, one of the most simplistic things to do, which seems so hard to everyone else, is gaining fans organically. Now, needless to say, there are several different ways people have been gaining fans over the years. One has been bot oriented and or spammy. These are absolutely the worst ways that you guys can do that, okay? Bots and spams don't do any justice to you because it does not equate to either streams, views, or money at all. For my YouTubers and music artists, your fans are the lifeline of your business. They're the lifeline of your career. They are you and they should be examples of you. And I don't like necessarily to call fans fans, I like to call them family because when you take on that aspect and you start thinking of it that way, you treat these people and potential followers of yours differently. To look at them as family, someone that you can share with, someone that you can reveal your inner self with, that you can share your music with, which your music is a reflection of you or your videos are a reflection of you. So in order to do that, one or two things can be done. We are all as musicians inspired by artists that. So what better way to gain followers or fans than to do covers? Yes, it sounds cliche, however, covers are the main marketing avenue and main way that artists today are actually finding people who are loving them or loving the music that they're creating on themselves. Now, why would we do this? Because if you liken your music to, say, a Beyonce or anyone like that, and you start doing Beyonce covers, that's instant attention to you because all of the Beyonce fans, per se, who are looking for Beyonce music will stumble across your music or your covers much faster as they look for Beyonce. What happens then is they discover that you actually sound pretty good singing Beyonce songs. Now, doing covers is highly underestimated, but there's plenty of websites and artists that are building careers from doing music covers. That is one of the fastest and easiest ways to pick up fans. I wanted it to be something iconic and something that people will never forget. Now, as I said for my producers earlier, your situation is a little bit different because you're not looking for necessarily fans. Unless you're looking to stream your music, then you can, of course, adopt these methods that have been working for other people. And one of the two methods that I'm gonna recommend to you as producers is type beats if you're looking for streams. And a type beat is basically your version of a music cover. It is you saying, hey, if you like Little Nas X or if you like this particular artist like the Migos or Drake, listen to my beat or listen to my track because it is similar to that track and you're gonna enjoy it. A type beat is basically a producer's version of a cover song. Now, for those of you who are saying, hey, type beats aren't working these these days and they're not really getting traction that's because you're not doing it well because there is plenty of examples of producers who are making tight beats their own and I know a lot of producers won't agree with that and they're gonna have their say and hey you know it's really played out and it's really not you showcasing your art it doesn't matter what your opinion is when it comes to tight beat we're talking about getting traction or gaining traction or attention to your music and this is one way especially if you're a person who's creating music for streaming now if you're looking for clientele people who are going to actually purchase your music there is only one sure way to do this and that is creating a sales funnel and what do i mean by sales funnel now creating sales funnel will require you to have an investment you're going to have to invest in advertising dollars you're going to have to invest in a website 
website. You're going to want a place that your clients can hone in and call home and then get all the latest information about you. And I know what you're saying. Why do I have to spend money? because money is gonna be spent on your marketing. Unfortunately for you producers, you have to look at this as a tangible business that you're selling services or your services is the business that you're selling and that requires advertising. Now, many different people have many different ways that they create their sales funnels, but they're all pretty much the same. The core behind it is having a website that your potential client or customer can go to and leave their email address when they get there. What I've seen too many producers do and say don't work, I spent money on Instagram ads and I spent money on Facebook ads and it didn't work for me. And the first thing that I ask is, did you have a place that they can leave their email address? Did you offer them something for free? Did you offer them a membership? Did you offer them a free download, a beat, anything when they got to your website? And 80% of the time the answer is no. And then I have producers who have 100% wholeheartedly told me that creating a marketing funnel works and they found success. So if you want to do and you want to gain more fans and you want to gain more traction in selling your music, music producers, create a marketing funnel and start with something as simple as creating a website, capturing an email, creating an IG ad, and then marketing that ad by spending a couple of hundred dollars to make sure that your video or your ad is being placed in front of hundreds of thousands of people, which then increases your chances of actually getting sales. Now, if you plan on putting your music or if you have your music on any streaming platforms and you want to know what the current streaming rate is, then check out this video right here or check out the video that YouTube is offering and think that you want to watch next. Before you leave out, make sure you hit the subscribe button and click the bell notification to be notified when we put out new videos.